Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman broadcasting remote today. And uh, and our guest is one of our favorite guests, actually, Ryan Hunt. He's the CEO of Michigan Works Association, headquartered in Lansing, Michigan. Ryan, it's always good to have you on. It was good to see you up at the policy conference. A lot got done there. Absolutely. Great conversations up there, Chris. Thank you for having me on for a brief segment with the Michigan Business Network while we were on the island together. Great to be back in Lansing, though, doing the wonderful things we do here at the association. You know, even if I didn't like you as much as I do, I would still have you on because the number one issue is still talent. Of course. Who who deals in that more than you, right? Right, right. All right. But I understand this uh, June is Youth Employment Month. Tell me a little bit about that, what that means. Sure. Well, Chris, think back to maybe five or 10 years ago for your first job. I know my first job, I was a uh, paper delivery boy for the Lansing Town Courier, delivering about 400 papers in the Hazlitt area every Sunday. And that $65 a week that came in biweekly made me feel like a millionaire at 13, but also helped instill some really awesome you know, attributes and characteristics that help me remain competitive in today's labor market. Things like a strong work ethic, dedication, because you have to be dedicated to wake up at 5.30 in the morning in the dead of winter to deliver papers out of a moving van, and also customer service excellence. And again, those those characteristics uh, remain a part of who I am today. And so for those reasons, youth employment is a critical part of our workforce efforts across the state. It helps develop some of those essential employability skills for the younger generations, they can carry those over through the course of their professional career. And youth employment really also helps individuals stay on the path to success, not only in their professional pursuits, but also in in future educational opportunities as well. So you and I both got that experience because we got off our duffs and we got out and we found something to do to generate revenue, right? That's right. But why are youth employment programs so important? Sure. The data points to some very key findings that we've seen over the years. Youth who participate in these employment programs and in education programs are oftentimes the first in line to be trained in advanced skill sets that are desperately needed in today's labor market. And they also gain real world experiences while developing those skills as well. Youth employment has proven to be uh, helpful in building individuals in order to be ready for today's job market. It also helps boost their self-esteem and develops not only those technical skills that they may acquire during the course of their uh, youth employment opportunities, but it also helps develop some of those soft skills like creative thinking, time management, and teamwork, which you and I know, Chris, employers, if you can knock those three things off a checklist for anybody who is applying for jobs these days, oftentimes they'll bring them in uh, immediately for a a position or an opportunity. And as I mentioned earlier, these youth employment initiatives help younger generations and they they set them up for continued success in their educational and career pathways. And right now, the overwhelming number of jobs in today's labor market requires some type of post-secondary education and training, which makes the right strategic investments that we have today in front of us, it makes those strategic investments that much more important to help pay dividends in the future. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, recently, uh, Leo, the Michigan Department of Labor and Economic Opportunity, uh, awarded young professionals grants to Michigan Works uh, agencies across the state. So, So what are the grants for? Sure. I know that the 16 Michigan Works agencies were extremely fortunate to have this pot of funding available earlier this year. Back in March, a total of $4 million in young professional grants were awarded across the Michigan Works Agency statewide. These grants are designed to reduce youth unemployment and also place young adults ages 14 to 24 on the right path to achieve that lifelong economic self-sufficiency. The grants are really meant to support young adults who are struggling on the path to obtain employment by exposing them to multiple career opportunities, including registered apprenticeships, college degrees, and certifications, and also helping them obtain sustainable employment in the long term. We know through the Michigan Works Network that these employment opportunities for the youth population can be game changers over the course of their professional careers. It also equips individuals with some of the uh, essential skills that we mentioned earlier as well. So by providing opportunities and grant funding like that was provided through the Young Professionals Initiative, we know that these are significant and timely investments in the future of our communities and our workforce across the state. So Ryan, you guys are all about advocacy as well. What what efforts is the Michigan Works Association taking 
sure. with state lawmakers to support sure. youth exchange. Well, if you log on to michiganworks.org, you can view our legislative priorities at both the state and the federal level. This year, one of the elements that we are focused on for state legislative priorities is around additional funding for youth employment opportunities. The national data supports the need for these types of investments as well. People ages 18 to 24, they account for about a quarter of all low-wage workers. And pre-pandemic, the poverty rate for youth in that same age demographic of 18 to 24 was about 13.3%. That's well above the rate of 10.5% among all adults. So even pre-pandemic, that unemployment rate was a little bit higher. And we know that that number has only grown uh, since the beginning of the COVID pandemic a couple of years ago. Uh, the Michigan Works Network is encouraging our state lawmakers to make an $80 million investment over the next three years to support work experience, career coaching, and wraparound services for youth. We see time and again, there's additional funding that's made available through supplemental budgets and state surplus dollars right now, thanks to ongoing tax revenue. So right now is the critical time for us to take a look at how are we spending those dollars as a state and making those critical investments into the future that will really help us on the path toward economic prosperity and making Michigan a top 10 state. Ryan, real quickly, how do our listeners, viewers, how do they get involved in this or get a hold of Michigan Works? We'd love all of the viewers today to log on to our website at michiganworks.org. You can find out tons of information on there, including our legislative priorities and also some information on our key events coming up, our annual conference coming up September 11th through 13th at Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort in Mount Pleasant. Chris, we hope to see you there and many of your viewers as well. Well, I hope so, too. And my plan is to be there. Absolutely. Um, Ryan Hunt, CEO of the Michigan Works Association. As always, great to spend time with you, my friend. Good to see you. Take care of yourself. Thank you. You too, Chris. All right. We're going to be right back on the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman.